Hey guys, it's Mike from That's Cool Vintage Collectibles. Today we're going to take a look at one of the more unique items in my personal collection. Let's go! So today on the program we're going to be talking about one of the most unique items in my collection. And my collection is housed in an 1830s log cabin. Uh, we're going to do a video on that at some point, but uh, it, it has multiple purposes. It, it's sort of a secondary living space. It houses my collection. It's also where I work out of and uh, is a music studio. And, and um, it just has a lot of different things going on here. And the collection surrounds everything, and you can kind of come in and see all that. Uh, but one piece that gets overlooked a lot is this original sign. And... Um, I think when people come in, you tend to be drawn towards pieces that would you'd maybe relate to a little more, either a band or a sports team that conjures up some kind of memory or connection to some past moment in your life that you, you recognize an item. So these more recognizable items tend to be what people see, but possibly the rarest and most unique piece in my collection is this original sign, and this would have hung from either a doorway or uh, a bracket out in front of possibly one of the earliest music stores in Canada. I'm located in Ontario, and this sign is either from Ontario or Quebec, uh, and it dates back to around the 1880s. We're not really sure. And you can see by the construction of this sign, it's all wood, uh, hand-painted. It's been weathered, just as you'd expect a sign that would be outside. And... Um, it's pretty wild uh, that, that it's still even intact and existing. After I got this sign, I started researching what companies might even be in existence in Canada at that time, selling either instruments or sheet music. And Nordheimer Piano and Music Company uh, was one of the names that came up a lot. And it was founded in Kingston, Ontario, which is not actually that far from where I am. And uh, that was opened in 1842 as a piano dealership. And a few years later, they did move to Toronto and other locations such as Hamilton, Ontario. And I actually do have a Nordheimer piano, and uh, it's a wonderful little studio piano. It sounds great. Nice size, and the craftsmanship is very strong, uh, even though mine's a later model. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, they also got into printing and uh, publishing sheet music, which was a huge industry at that point. And you have to remember, before the recorded song, the only way to hear music was to be in the physical presence of it. So people that could get a hold of this sheet music could play these songs, and uh, if they were trained to anyway, and uh, enjoy the music that way. When I think about my sign... I don't think it would be affiliated with Nordheimer just simply for, you know, basically because I think they would have put their name on it. And at that point, they were a big enough company that I think their name would have been on any signage that they created. Uh, this is more likely a smaller operation um, just due to the size of the sign and uh, uh, just the way it's, it's constructed. And it's very much hand-painted and not stenciled or anything like that. So I, I think this was a very small-time shop. Um, could have been uh, with a selection of sheet music as well as instruments. It could have been a luthier. I'm not really sure, and I don't know anything about it, unfortunately, but it's a bit of a mystery. It remains one of my favorite all-time pieces, and I just think it's an incredible piece of history. And uh, I'm really still totally unsure as the date as well. It could be older than we think. It could be a little bit later than I think. I'm not sure. But um, certainly an interesting piece and one I thought that was worthy of appearing on the channel. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this little look at a vintage piece in my collection. And thank you all for your subscriptions to the channel and watching uh, it's brand new. We're only um, about a week and a half uh, in, and uh, I can't wait to create more content and show you more pieces from my collection as well as stories about some of these items. Uh, thanks again, and uh, keep on collecting.